usually when you think about farming, you think of the sun as nourishing crops, helping them grow. Well, we found a farmer who is also harvesting the sun itself, literally. And he's ended up with a pretty good crop of cash. Meet Trey Pippen, a Georgia pecan farmer who explains in his own words how he's taking charge of his energy needs. My name is Trey Pippen. I live here in Albany, Georgia. Farm about 2,000 acres of pecans here in southwest Georgia. Pecans are the, the only native nut to North America. They were found here when the settlers came over. A pecan tree does take a lot of water. Without adequate rainfall, then we have to supplement with irrigation systems. The wells are what consume most of the power of pumping water, and especially on a year like this, we've been hit with a drought. You know, we've had wells that haven't turned off in three and a half months and just pumped continuously 24 hours a day. Like everybody else in 2008, we were getting pounded with high diesel prices and fertilizer prices were up. All our inputs were up. Breaking out all our numbers, we saw that, you know, we spent $180,000 a year just in power bills. So the USDA told us about the solar opportunities that were out there with grants and incentives that were currently available. We farm pecans and we farm photons. This is a 200 kilowatt system. We expect to produce approximately 280,000 kilowatt hours in a year, which is approximately enough to power 30 to 40 homes. This went into operation April 23rd of last year, so we've operated a little over a year. The advantage we were looking at here is obviously our high electrical input. We competed for a number of different grants. One of them had an incentive to use Georgia-based product, and that's how we discovered Ceneva as a manufacturer of solar panels here. They're made of silicone, they're monocrystalline panels. When the sun hits the silicone wafers, it creates a flow of electrons there, which is a direct current. So that direct current is fed from the panels to the inverters where it's converted to an alternating current, AC current. And from that point, we blow it through the meter and then put it onto the grid. On a summer day, you know, we're gonna produce between 1,000 to 1,200 kilowatt hours. The Georgia Power will pay us 17 cents per kilowatt hour that we produce. But altogether, it's about $60,000 worth of power that we've sold back to the grid. So an important aspect of solar is obviously your runtime. You want to be up and running as much time during the daylight hours as you can. To do that, we remotely monitor all our systems. So this system has a monitors the production, the amps, the volts of everything coming into each of these inverters. All that data is fed onto a website that we can log on to anywhere we have internet service. When I have free time, I log on to these systems using my phone and just check their power production. This energy is replacing what would be coal-powered energy going onto the grid. Since that coal-powered energy is not being used and said solar energy is taking its place, they were offsetting that carbon dioxide that would be emitted from the power plants. The goal of the Georgia Power Program is to have customers sign up and say that we want to purchase green energy, you know, we don't want to buy a polluting source of energy, and so they agree to pay a premium on their power bill, and then Georgia Power puts out these proposals for somebody like me, and so these people's money essentially goes into supporting projects like this. Farming has equipment for solar, especially with the huge upfront cost, because of a country, Got to plant the trees, put it in the irrigation system, and then it's seven to ten years before we see any commercial return from a pecan tree. So when you plant an orchard, you're in it for the long haul and for the long-term investment of it. And the same is similar with the solar system. I just think it's an interesting way to look at it when comparing the pecan tree to the solar panels and how they're both using you know, God's gift of the sun and the sun's energy to keep growing pecans. And Trey says he expects to pay for the solar installation, which cost about $140,000 after tax credits and depreciation within three years. And he's starting to get more involved in the solar business than farming, launching a renewable properties business. He has already built a solar array on five acres of land in North Georgia, which he says could potentially generate 1.3 million kilowatts of energy. That's enough to power 140 homes for a whole year.